How to draw a penguin. You're gonna start by giving it a head. This drawing is a little bit harder than my other ones. And I was actually really afraid to post this at first because I didn't think it was good enough. I gave myself excuses like my pen is too small, the tip of my pen is um, not clean after the last stroke, things like that. And then I realized that I'll never improve by just sitting around and overthinking it. I have to just do it. So if you're ever overwhelmed by a goal of yours, I'd say just go and take that first step. Not everything has to be perfect from the beginning, and you'll never know what you're capable of unless you try. So remember, you can't spell improvement without movement. You also can't spell penguins without penis. How to draw a bee. First, you're gonna start with its eyes, the base of the bee, and then the stinger. And make sure to stay tuned to see how we finish them off. Then you're gonna wanna fill in the eyes, give it a little mouth, Fill in these lines, I'm not sure what they're called, and then give it the antennas. Okay, the wings. And then you're gonna finish it off by giving it a massive dip. How to draw a chicken. First, you're gonna draw the body, and a lot of chickens have big bodies, so don't be afraid to give it some girth. Give it head, and then show some love for the tip of the head. Oh, oh no, Mr. Chicken, I messed up and hurt you. I'm so sorry. How about we turn this mark into some hair for this cock and I stroke slower next time, okay? When you hurt someone, their first instinct might be to try to hurt you back, but that doesn't always mean that they're a jerk. Off <laughs> 10 times. It's just because they want you to know what it feels like to be hurt. And what that really means is that they just want to be understood and empathized with. So if you ever hurt someone, make sure to really try to understand how you hurt them and then give them some comfort. <laughs> it's okay to make mistakes. It's what you do afterwards that matters most. And the world could use a little more empathy. Okay, now that me and Mr. Chicken are friends again, the only person that's gonna be hurt tonight is his side chick who's about to be pounded by this massive cock. How to draw a cockroach. First, you're gonna start with the ties, the base of the cockroach, and its tail. Stay tuned, y'all, just a few more strokes till he's finished. And then you're gonna fill in the eyes, give him a little mouth, add these lines, I'm still not sure what they're called, and then give it antennas, add the legs. We're drawing him on his back so he looks like he's hung out. He's almost finished. Alright, now that we have the roach, we just need a giant cock.